you a night of high emotions for the LGBTQ community in Norwalk. Just before a vigil protesting violence, news came of a major victory in Washington. News 12's Connecticut Suzanne Goldklang joins us from the Norwalk Green with more. Suzanne? Good evening, Roxanne. There is a lot to unpack here tonight. This vigil was organized to honor the victims of the Club Q shooting in Colorado Springs and protest an assault at a nightclub right around the corner from here. Then came news from Washington. There are no words to describe this uh, insane tragedy. A rainbow of colors, a spectrum of emotions on a town green. The names of victims killed at Club Q in Colorado Springs read out loud. Together we are unified as a group to amplify vulnerable voices of a minority that often ask for help but are left in silence. Feelings are also raw regarding an assault nearby that injured an owner of Troop 429. If we don't hold these people accountable for what they do, it just opens the door for future attacks like the one we just saw in Colorado. Education is the medicine and people living together and interacting with each other and knowing each other as humans is the medicine. But in the midst of outrage, a glimmer of change. I just got a tweet that they did pass it, so that's exciting and a great moment for us to share here um, at the vigil. News the U.S. Senate passed a bill that would make marriage equality the law of the land. It's a good moment, but it feels bittersweet. Many here wish legislation wasn't needed. It should neither be historic or a relief. It should just be the norm. But still, the vote fans flames of hope. We're at a, a moment where we need to look for hope anywhere, and uh, any step towards um, more equality is a hopeful sign. And now that bill will go to the House of Representatives. If it's passed there, it will go on to the White House for the president to sign. In Norwalk, Suzanne Goldklang, News 12, Connecticut.